This is Francisco Perez. Welcome to another educational lesson. So, I did this a while back. I had to go to the Satellite City Hall. And so what happened was, several years ago, I'm guessing maybe like six, seven years ago, I was at this Satellite City Hall, and this is in Ala Moana. And in Ala Moana, <coughs> shit, my bad. And in Ala Moana, they had, you know how like at the movie theaters, they have those advertisement um, poster, those illuminated ones with the lights inside, and light up the what movie you're watching. And you walk around every everywhere and you can read what about the movie. Well, they have that, but they, what they had in it was like ancient manuscripts. And they had the translated versions of them. And they had like historical facts and historical documents. And they had even had like chants and prophecies of what what priests in the past and prophesies so I was so interested as a because I've always been interested in learning ever since I was a baby especially about my culture and heritage so I thought about it and so I had to go back and so I just recorded but the thing is a lot of what they had they have been taken out they took out more than half of what was there so this is just maybe like five of the post, five papers that have descriptions and stuff. And I'm gonna go through them and I'm gonna link it to YouTube pages, I mean YouTube videos um, through historical scholars. I'm gonna link it to um, university papers on research on Hawaiian people. I'm gonna link it to a ancient drawings of by cartographers of Hawaiian people. And then uh, maybe you'll uh, enjoy this video. Here we go. We're here at the Satellite City Hall. I'm about to get some paperwork. But this is gonna be an educational lesson as well. So, right here it says, Chant <clears throat> was the basic form of musical expression prior to the arrival of the Europeans to the Hawaiian Islands. For traditional Hawaiians, chant continues to represent deep physical and spiritual union in humankind and our relationship to nature. Its sacredness and power lie in the text of the chant called Olelo. Especially significant in pre-contact Hawaii were chants that recounted the genealogy of an individual and the kumulipo, the creation chant. So everybody, see every family and every person within the family had to recount orally from memory his whole genealogy spanning back 2,000 years at least. All right? And on top of that, he had to, he had to recount and chant the creation story. And now you can go on the internet and research the Hawaiian creation story. I've showed you already. But that's nothing. I got this book. It was a creation story book. I didn't. I couldn't take it. It was. It was out of my in-laws' house, and it was the the creation story. But it was like 200 pages long. And that was. So it was. There's more to the story. It gets so in depth. But we could recite all of that from memory. As, as well as our genealogy. You had to. These chants passed down and sung from memory were the only way in which history and mythology 
could be recorded and taught. So if you go into Asian um, mythology and Asian um, spirituality, they say that when you when you commit these symbols and these words to writing, when you express these in writing form, it loses power. And also, when you dabble in this, you also uh, play with forces you don't understand. And that's where, like, you can curse yourself. And I know everybody's like, oh, curse pseudoscience. But it's proven that this is sorcery, that language is a form of sorcery. And, like, words like bad, when you call yourself bad, that's actually um, not a good thing. That's actually a, a really awful word to say about, like, say your children. And that has um, repercussions through vibrational that we don't understand. And it affects us. There's consequences that we don't understand. <clears throat> so a lot of these things make sense. But to us who haven't been really educated properly, especially in the ways of our ancestors, none of this makes any sense. So I'll show you. Um, I'll show you one chant for now. Let's see it. Let's go check out a chant. So this is uh, fair use. For use on the caboose. He who make a game, Una Mia, no, you So that's what a chant would be sound like. I'll show you one more. And that one was to show you wisdom. E ala e kala i ka i kina i kamu ana kamu ana honu i kaleva kaleva nu u i ka i kina ai kala e ala e e ala e kala i ka i kina i kamu ana kamu ana honu. Be Kaleva Kalevanu Ika Hikina Ayakala Ealae Ealae 